Hello everyone, Denise here. I hope you're doing well today. Today is Monday, January 8th, 2024. So I have been wanting to actually do a video on this subject for quite some time, but just didn't feel I was really prepared for it. But in light of what just happened recently in Miami at that mall, um, you know, and just all the confusion about it, you know, I'm just going to share some scripture and, you know, and a video in my description link that, you know, hopefully, I don't know how long this video is going to stay up, um, but apparently the police there that showed up at the mall, you know, lots of police, um, they took people's cell phones and just wiped them clean. So, you know, um, and we know who the, why would the police do that? Well, we know who their boss is. Okay, guys. So anyway, and, and just, just in light of all this talk the last few years on aliens and, um, just along with everything else escalating. And, and then I think about, um, not too long ago, uh, like this past summer, you know, we heard about um, the the aliens, the eight, nine, ten feet tall aliens in Las Vegas, you know, in someone's backyard. And then there was some videos that I saw about that, and I think, I believe I shared them. Um, anyway, there's just a lot going on, and um, I remember in one of those videos, and, and the police officer said that it really seemed credible, these people seemed genuinely in fear, and that they were telling the truth, and then, <clears throat> then you can see in the background some kind of light in the sky falling or shooting across or whatever, and then that video <clears throat> didn't even emerge till like a couple months after the fact, so... And then there was that court thing going on, you know, this past summer with the whistleblowers and just on and on and on, you know, and, and just lots of videos of people seeing things in the sky. I did a video um, back around uh, like on December 2nd, 2021, because on December 1st, 2021, you know, I saw all these like red, orangish, like fiery orbs outside my bedroom window one night, you know, when I went to close the window and there was just massive, them, um, massive, you know, I can't even count how many there was, you know, I would guess between maybe 75 to a hundred that I could see and just all just kind of moving along, you know, and my son Zach saw them as well. But anyway, <clears throat> I was so in awe when I saw them that, you know, I didn't think to grab my phone and um, video them, you know, I was just like, Zach, come and see this, you know, and then we went to his room and there was just a few left and then they were just gone, you know, but, um, you know, a lot of things are happening. So I came across this video this morning. Um, that I, I am going to share in my description box and and you just kind of got to watch the whole thing it's not a very long video I think like 11 minutes but this guy shares he was at the mall that day with some family members and um, you know it seems you know very credible you know and then kind of halfway through the video um, it shows a clip of what these things looked like okay and you know, it, it didn't look like any kind of hologram or anything like that. I mean, they were just completely black, okay, and kind of the long limbs and and just, he, you know, the way he describes them is like the men in black, okay, guys, because they, there's no light in them, all right? These are devils, I believe, you know, um, they've always been here because in Scripture it reads that they were here... Um, before the flood, you know, talking about the Nephilim, and after the flood, guys, because when the angels, when when the angels of God mated, you know, with the daughters of man, and they created these things, like these hybrids, okay, um, they are eternal, okay, and so those are like, they just need a body, you know, that's why there's devils in the world, you know, that's why they were here before the flood and after the flood those giant bodies died but you know they still remain okay and it's the only thing that makes sense 
and that's what I believe. And so, um, so all these devils and grays and things, you know, like the grays, those are just like body suits that they make, you know, to live in. And then they find, you know, you go watch L.A. Marzulli, go on his channel, and, um, you know, he talks a lot about that. You know, he's done a lot more study than I have on them. And um, it's just very, it's just quite interesting. And so the more closer we get to being caught up out of here, the more, you know, everything's just going to intensify, like birth pains, like Jesus said. And, and, he, and in his word, it says, you know, men's hearts will fail them for fear for the things that they see coming on the earth, guys, you know. And, and um, if, if these kind of things and accounts had, a, had been talked about, you know, maybe five, even ten, you know, ten, five years ago, you know, it would have just been like mainstream news, I, I would imagine. But but with all the confusion out there, like like they shut down the airports, all these police came. They say it's just a bunch of kid with kids with sticks, you know, fighting or whatever. And it was really nothing. Then other people are saying, no, it was something, you know. I mean, who is the author of confusion, guys? This, you know... It's just unbelievable that the days that we are living in right now and, and the things that we are seeing, you know, you shall see the signs and the sun, moon and stars, you know, and then men's hearts failing them for fear. You know, these devils, you know, they that's all they have to offer is fear because they, they're probably pretty fearful themselves, you know, knowing um, the end of the book, you know, knowing where they're going to end up. You know, and so they just want to take as many people with them as possible, you know, and so the guy in this uh, first video I'm going to share in my link below felt fear, you know, that was what he felt when he saw them, and um, he, did, he said he didn't think to grab his phone and video them, you know, he just wanted to get out of there, so anyway, I'm going to share a few scriptures. <clears throat> You know, there's just a lot going on and a lot of confusion out there, a lot of lies and, um, you know, a lot of conspiracies, guys, and the conspiracies are not from the truth, guys. You know, conspiracy means to hide or conceal something, all right? And so all I'm trying to do, along with many others that are walking in the light, you know, that are born again and trying to share, you know, what scripture says in light of what's going on right now here at, you know, in the end times, you know, um, we're, you know, ironically enough called the conspiracy theorist. And here we're trying to, you know, we're not trying to hide or conceal anything, you know, so, and then these are the types of um, messages that get, you know, shut down. Okay, so we have to watch what we say, you know, just kind of, um, you know, just go by the book. You know, one day I believe that this book right here will be outlawed, you know, but I'm going to share it while I can. But anyway, I wanted to share a verse because a lot of people, um, you know, especially I've noticed those that are like um, the age of 25, you know, or younger, you know, they, they are believing you know, in the universe, okay, that's kind of like, because see, we were all created to worship, guys, and, and the devil knows this, so, I mean, um, a lot, unfortunately, a lot of the youth, and a lot of people older than that, too, they believe it just in the universe, and that, that we're going to be like gods, you know, eventually in the universe, and then, you know, you see that with the Mormons, you see that with other false religions and things that Jesus warned us about, okay? And so it says right here in um, Genesis chapter 3, um, verse 5, the devil speaking to Eve here, For God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, okay? Knowing good and evil. So I find that interesting. This is the very first lie, you know, that was that was told in, in the Bible um, from the devil, okay? And he is still using and planting that lie today, to this very day, at the very end. And, and people, you know, it just kind of repackages it. And um, so people believe that, along with a lot of other 
things that, you know, our public school systems are teaching our children, you know, and just the insanity of it all and everything that's been allowed into our schools, which is, you know, they took God out and then now all this perversion and crap is, is into our schools, getting sown into our children, okay, because we know that scripture reads, raise your children up in the way of the Lord. Okay, and when they are older, they will not depart from it. Satan knows this, so you got to get them while they're young, right? And um, so, you know, they got all this perversion coming into the schools, and then all this doctrination on that, and um, just other things, you know, evolution, and and just all nonsense, all all just complete nonsense, keeping kids away from the truth, and. Um, you know, so Satan's using the same old lies. You can be as gods, you know, and, and when someone like that comes to your house, scripture, you know, like, like a Mormon or Jehovah's Witness or whatever, you know, there are spirits be, behind these, you know, dark spirits behind, you know, these religions, you know, you want to save those people. You want to welcome them in and share with them the true gospel, of course, and stuff. But according to scripture, um, it says, do not even, you know, when you know they're coming in to, to try to, you know, um, persuade you that way, you know, don't even bid them Godspeed. Don't even let them into your house, okay? I don't remember the exact verse, but just look it up. And so, you know, we're to um, stay away from that. And so I just wanted to share that. And so I want to share another scripture here and I'm going to leave another link too it's with uh, Lee Brainerd and I think his name is J.B. Hickson or something but he is uh, an author you know maybe many of you have heard of him um, hopefully I didn't get his name I know the last name Hickson is correct but um, it's kind of a lengthy video I had to watch it twice because I fell asleep after an hour and a half you know it's like two hours and something long but I watched it again and it's just a very good conversation and, and they go through what, what's going on right now um, here at, at the end days and answer a lot of questions. They have a Q&A at the end, a lot of questions you may have, you know, that and just stuff I, I kind of already knew but it just really enlightened, you know, what I already knew and, and uh, very encouraging, you know, if you're a believer in Christ, <clears throat> if you're not. It's very, it could be very awakening, you know, for you. So, um, very good conversation. So I'll leave that in there as well. And then if I can find it and it is still available, there was a video I saw earlier, uh, in that mall of a like white round, like portal opening up. Okay. And, and then it didn't show what was coming through, but people saw that, you know, and so I'll try to find that video as well. So anyway, wanted to share another verse here. Where is it? So yeah, um, Jesus, you know, because these things, you know, they kind of look like reptiles, you know, like reptile-ish, you know, and, and so Jesus himself called them reptiles, guys, you know. Um, it, here in Matthew chapter 12, verse uh, 20, or verse 34, this is written in red, Jesus speaking here. Oh, generation of vipers, you know, vipers like reptiles, guys. And he's speaking to the Catholics, okay? Back then they were called the Pharisees, you know. Um, How can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh, you guys. So, you know, what's in the heart is what's going to come out of the mouth. Okay, you know, what we think, you know, is what's in our heart, you guys. It starts, you know, right up here, you know. That's why we got to change when, when you come to to believe, you know. When, when you come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, you know, it's a change of mind. You know, it has to start there, you know. And then he gives us a new heart and a new spirit. Our spirit is quickened, you know. And then you, you become born again. And, and, and whom the Son sets free is free indeed, okay. It is not of works, lest any man should boast, okay. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, we can never, you know, lose our salvation after that. You know, we're going to screw up, you know. We're in these um, sinful bodies because 
Scripture says that one day we will be changed from corruptible to incorruptible. You know, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and then we're going to be like complete, you know, and I can't wait for that. So, wanted to share that. And then one more here. Uh, okay, so, so Jesus, you know, it basically calls them reptiles. Remember, he came as a serpent in the garden. Okay, that is a reptile, guys. So, these things are monsters, you know. They, they kind of have a human form, like this guy explains what he saw and then there is a picture of it there is a picture of these three very tall dark you know creatures towards the middle of this video this 11 minute video i'm going to share in my description box um and and i believe it's real i really do and you know with all this confusion going on was it true were the airports shut down was it not true was it just a bunch of kids with sticks you know we know who the author of confusion is, okay? But God is not the author of confusion, but a peace and love and a sound mind, okay? He wants us to be awake, okay? And I believe with all this confusion going on, you know, with, with all this talk and everything else going on in the world that Jesus said would, would happen, you know, um, here at the end, all at once and escalating, that it, I think it's just kind of desensitizes people you know they're just that's why it's no big deal now when you hear about something like this it just because there's just too much news going on you know don't look there look here look there you know when when all when all this stuff is that's really happening you know right before our eyes and and so anyway satan is the author of confusion and you know and he has children guys he has children and since we are made in the image of god you know think about this a minute you know, and Satan's a copycat of God. He wants, you know, those that are, that don't have the seal of salvation on their heads, you know, that seal that we can't see, but the invisible world can see. They know who is born again and who is not, okay? That's why people that, you know, may think that they have a form of godliness or whatever, but, but yet they're still living worldly, they're out there in the world thinking they're not doing nothing wrong, just living worldly, doing good, and thinking they're blessed for it. You know, they're leading, actually leading people to hell. Satan ain't going to really mess with them too much. He's just going to keep that going with them, you know, because they're doing his work. They're about their father, the devil. And right here in, in, in John 8, verse 44, written in red, Jesus' words, Ye are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it, guys, you know. And so, not only that, you know, not only that, but when I think about, you know, when I think about, what's been going on, you know, the last few years, especially, and, and I think about, you know, I'll be careful what I say, you know, and some of the videos that I've put in my description links before, and maybe I'll put those down to underneath the main ones, you know, that I'm going to put up here of some of, you know, we, we all know when we're, you know, in the kitchen or whatever, and, and we're, we're trying to, you know, follow a recipe, right? A certain recipe, you know, we need certain ingredients for that recipe for it to turn out, you know, um, for whatever we're creating, right? Well, in the same way, you know, and then, you know, he's, he's a serpent, you know, he got Jesus called them vipers. Um, they're of their father, the devil, you know, what, what's, What's been kind of going on the last few years? You know, what what did um, Trump bring in? What what did he start? Guys, you know, this is why I do not vote. And, um, you know, when I was watching this video with Lee Brainerd and, and this Dr. Hickson guy, um, you know, I liked what Dr. Hickson referred to it as. He said, I don't pretend to vote, you know, and he gives um, some pretty good significant information from his 30 plus years of research, you know, and, and all this stuff that they've never really mattered, guys. It's, it, there's like six to eight um, 
like elite families way at the top, okay, amongst all us billions of people um, that are really actually calling the shots here. And they're in control and, you know, um, I just don't trust any of them. I really don't. So I, I do implore you to, you know, tune into that. And, um, you know, there's just a lot going on. But remember, we have not been given the spirit of fear, you know, but a peace and, and love and a sound mind. You know, our God does not want us to be ignorant. You know, our hearts are not going to fail us for fear. We, we're not going to be here when, when it gets really bad like that. But, um, you know, here at the end, we should expect to see more earthquakes, more um, pestilences, more famine, you know, um, uh, hyperinflation, you know, just continues, to, inflation continues to rise and then it's just going to be hyperinflation. It's, that day is going to come and the Bible reads during the time of Jacob's trouble where it will take a whole day's uh, work just to buy one loaf of bread, you know, think about that. That's going to be more valuable than anything during that time It's just trying to eat. Try, trying to survive and it's and and when these things do come down you know when they really manifest because they're all going to be cast down to the earth you know and they are going to manifest you know during that time you know um of course people's hearts are going to fail them for fear you know we're just getting glimpses shadows you know foreshadows of it right now um, that are happening and then we're going to see we should expect to see more earthquakes you know in diverse places um, my gosh wars and rumors of wars you know and just confusion deception okay that was the first thing on the list that, that Jesus spoke about so we don't want to be in the dark right now you know we're still here and and God you know he protects he protects us he protects me and my son you know and and um you know, so I know that there's a lot of Christians that are un going under a lot of, you know, in other countries, you know, like North Korea and and, and China, you know, and, and just places like that that are, you know, being martyred for their faith. We don't hear much about that on the news, okay, but that is happening, and it's sad, but um, here in America, you know, you can still be a Christian, you know, you won't be very popular, <laughs> you know, once people realize where you really stand, you know, because they're in the dark, you know, and unfortunately, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of these kids, they, they just really don't know any other way because they've been indoctrinated, you know, in this last generation, you know, they don't know God, they weren't raised in the way of the Lord, and so it just sounds ridiculous to them, okay, and, um, you know, that's why we got all these school shootings, you know, and all that when they took God out and, and you know, just random schools. And so I'm sure more is going to happen, you know. We'll just all stay tuned, you know. I don't know where these critters are going to pop up at next, but, you know, I guess we'll we'll see, you know, um, while we're still here. And, and God forbid be, you be left behind. So, you know, I, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if this all sounds foreign to you, you know, um, just pray, just go to him and ask him, you know, if, if you're real, will you show me that you're real? And if you really mean that from your heart, you know, maybe you were never taught about God, but if you really mean it from your heart and you're like, I'm confused, you know, um, God's not the author of confusion. Remember that, you know, there is a hope there. Is, there's not a hope in this world. You know, and I know a lot of a lot of young young people. They they really don't see any hope in this world, but yet you know they're under all this delusion, you know, and things. And a lot of their parents are too, unfortunately, because they did not bring their children up in the way of the Lord. And that's what we need to be doing. And and you know, you you can receive the truth, and you could be set free, and you you could have the same blessed hope that I have and many others have. You know. Um, Titus 2.13, you know, looking for the God and great, our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, you know, our blessed hope, you know, um, and you can go in the rapture and not be left behind because, you know, that is what's mocked the most is the pre-tribulation rapture because it's the truth, okay, it's in the Bible, the Bible talks about it and, 
and we will be raised, you know, from corruptible to incorruptible in a moment and in the twinkling of an eye, you know, and, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Those that have died in Christ, that they're, you know, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. They, they're already in heaven, okay, and they're waiting for their new bodies too. So, you know, once saved, always saved, you know, once you're saved, you know, you're saved and sealed until the day of redemption, you know, and no one can snatch you out of the hand of God because whom the sun sets free is free indeed. So God bless you um, and God willing until next time, you know, and please check out my, my description box below and check out, you know, the first couple videos and then the third video will probably be that portal thing, you know, I'll probably put that there and, and, um, and if you did do this, you know, um, you know, you still have a soul and, and, um, you know, just pray and ask God to, to save you and, and make you born again and don't do any more of that, you know, there's just certain, you know, like with a recipe, just certain things, you know, in there and, and you go back and you look at ancient times photos, you know, of, you know, a mixture of human and, you know, I mean, were they all just pretending the same thing having, I mean, or was this stuff happening? It's never changed. It's happening now and, and we should expect to see it happening more and more here at the end, you know, just the manipulation of, you know, the image of God, you know, what, what, because, you know, the Satan wants to be God and he wants people in his image, you know, um, all the way he wants that. And so we can't trust these leaders, guys, you know, we, but there is one we can trust and we can look to. And um, now's as good a time as any, you know, today is the day of salvation, guys, you know, because time is running out, you know, um, evil is waxing worse and worse, so nothing's getting better, it hasn't been getting better, you know, and and the more you refuse it, the h more harder, you know, your heart will get, and the more harder it's going to be to turn to God, and um, so anyway, take care everyone, and God willing, until next time, take care.